what is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? Well, first of all, you know, there would be no water shutoffs under my administration. You know, having been former interim director of the water department, I actually had worked very closely with Michigan Welfare Rights and other advocates to try to create an affordable water plan. We got a lot of pushback from lawyers because they said it couldn't be done because of various restrictions in the charter and bond covenants. But I rejected that notion and believed that, that we could move to affordability, perhaps a, a income based plan or, or of approach. I think the other side of the coin, though, for water affordability is we have to attack and address the issue of the drainage fee. When you look at most people's water bill now, the drainage fee is like 60 or 70 percent of the bill. And we've got to begin to reduce that drainage fee through some very creative mechanisms of going to green conservation districts, really forcing more water runoff in our park system so that we can reduce the amount of water that's actually treated. But we can move to an affordable water plan by simply looking at our rate structure, a key in that to what people's income is. It's better for everyone to pay a little something towards a water bill versus having a few people pay a lot and some people pay none. So we can equalize that out in a manner that is fair uh, to all the people who are rate payers here in the city of Detroit. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? OK, so I believe that there should be a program or some funding set in place, whether it's from federal funding or uh, even different grants that we can propose or come up with to make sure that there's funding allocated that every citizen have water. Um, it's just a human right. We all we actually have to have water in order to survive. And so everyone should have access to healthy, clean, safe water. And um, even, so my biggest, I want to say this, my biggest focus is empowering people, educating people. And so when it comes down to teaching people how to properly take care of their bills, um, a lot of times people just don't do because they really have not been taught. And so even in making sure that we have programs to make sure that water is affordable, we need to make sure that we're teaching people, especially those who do struggle with maintaining their bills and paying their bills. And so just making them aware, teaching them how to stay ahead of the game and then making it affordable for our low income families who do struggle most times with paying their water. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? That's actually in my 10 points to rebuild uh, the city on my, on my platform. It's on my uh, website. What I would do is, yes. Well, what I would do is I would make provisions to find out why the cost is what it is so we can get people on affordable plans ASAP and try to find money so people, so we can get paid like through a grant program instead of having people indebted for something that's not even supposed to be that high. I was told by a council member a few years ago, I'm not gonna say her name, but they don't even know what you really owe for the water plant. They just essentially giving people bills. How that works? I have no idea. So it's just like taking rough estimates and giving it to people. So, and this is from that, something I heard from the inside, you know, uh, something that's not gonna be common knowledge, but it's, it's a reality because at that point, when that person spoke on that, that's when, before it was way before the pandemic, but it still was like a real, a major problem it was 100,000 people who lost their water. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? So for me, water is a human right. Honestly, water, in my opinion, should be free. There is no reason why companies like Nestle should get waters for pennies on the dollar and be able to resell it to individuals to make a profit. But yet people here in Detroit who make less than $19,000 or say $20,000 a year cannot afford water. So I've been hearing different things about a tier system or how should people get water? No, water should just be affordable, period, for every single person. Again, if it was up to me, water would be free. But again... If it was up to me again, no company, you know, we live around the biggest body of fresh water there is in the whole world. No company should have access, again, for water for pennies on a dollar, but yet citizens can't afford water or don't have water in their homes. That is disgraceful to me, in my opinion. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? So, first of all, water is a human right. And um, my first act, of, uh, one of my first acts of mayor is to end water shutoffs. And I know there's questions about how we're going to afford 
uh, water for everybody long term. But really, this is a question of principle for me. If I can walk by a house on almost any street in the city of Detroit and hear running water in the basements, if I can drive down the street and see water spewing out of the streets, it makes no sense that when residents uh, who live in who occupy the homes in our great city can't afford to pay water that we turn theirs off. It's just a fundamental question. And so the first thing we have to do is commit to the ending of water shutoffs. And the second thing is, you know, figuring out a long term affordability plan. There's a number of different ways that we can go about that. Um, so somebody proposed to me and I'm not opposed to it. It's presenting a millage to the city of Detroit and asking them, us as residents, how we feel about it. My caution on that, on millages, as somebody currently who's fundamentally opposed to millages because of the practice of unequitable um, uh, tax captures on the things that we pass, pass millages for. But if we could address that first, the ending of tax captures on uh, human services like water or education or the public library, if we can commit to that, then I'd say let's put before the people the possibility of passing a millage that's going to pay long term for affordable water. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? Well, water affordability, everyone should have the right to water. But since I do work in the budget department, I know that you just can't have free water because of what we have to do with the plants, the water um, processing plants. It has to, we have to have some type of charge because we couldn't afford to run it without any type of billing. But I wanna make sure that our citizens has a, a affordable rate than the suburbs that are, are getting. So we just wanna make sure that it's affordable to our citizens and the ones that can't afford it, make sure that they have some type of payment plans that where they wouldn't have their water shut off because no one shouldn't be living without any water. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? Well, first of all, I feel that they water shouldn't have to be restored for COVID-19 and that many residents were without water for a number of years. I mean, number of years for no apparent reason. And one was that they couldn't prove that if you couldn't prove that you was a landlord, the landlord rented a resident to you that you could not able to get water. And I feel that every citizen should still have a right to cut on water wherever they live. So I will uh, produce a plan that will keep affordable water on. My water bill is very affordable. If there's no leaks, if there's nobody water wastage. And I feel that that the citizens shall be given a fair value to keep their water on, affordability and payment plans as well. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? It's not about the water affordability. It's just the drainage tax that was added to that water. So some people water bill, for instance, might be $17 for the water. The drainage fee could be $45. And then the sewage, another 20 and then you got uh, you have more money cleaning and and this phantom drainage fee, which caused a hundred thousand foreclosures. It's ca it caused tens of thousands of churches to lose their churches. It caused two hundred thousand people to get their water shut off because when they imposed this drainage fee, when uh, when the current administration came in and franchised the water department out to the three. Uh, counties, Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb, for $50 million for a year. It's, that's $1.6 million a month per county. And none of that money came to us, so they had to find a way to um, gouge us for more money. And that's what happened. Uh, Detroit Water and Sewage, you're eligible for your water to get shut off at $125. So when they added that eighty and ninety dollars extra a month, everybody got eligible real quick. So, <laughs> so I lost uh, four buildings because of this. Um, they, I had a building on Harper near Cashew. Um, it was fifty. My general tax was fifteen hundred, but my drainage fee was thirty five hundred. So it, they put that straight onto your uh, tax. So you got a five thousand dollar tax bill, and that's in certain areas in the city. They was gouging us with this fee. 
that cause mass foreclosures and uh, water shutoffs. What is your position on water shutoffs and water affordability in the city of Detroit? One of the main things, especially during COVID, even flu season, that's a necessity. Uh, I know water shouldn't be free, but water should be free. We all think, but we know that does that's not works because that's an administration and we have employees that need to be paid and we have services that need to be addressed. We need to come up with a system where we could use renewable energy resources to make a better system that has clear water. The more water you push in, through a system, just to give some uh, insight on how the water system works, the, the more water you push in through a system, the better quality the water is. And we need to really do something about Detroit's water maintenance, water, water system, and definitely make it affordable. But every household in the city of Detroit needs their water on.